checking out a few million tons of uh, redwoods fresh cut. Um, this is just one of their many stages that they go through when they get cut. Um, redwoods, um, there's many different types of um, logging companies and uh, businesses involved with redwoods in general and it's not just uh, you know cut it down and do a product or a project with it. Um, some companies are specific to uh, uses uh, making paper or wood planks or um, different types of uh, products and um, like these redwoods in this company in particular use them to make uh, fence posts and stakes and different things so they stay local and um, in this country versus a lot of uh, the redwoods that we're cutting down are um, typically shipped off to China now and um, we still have zero jobs for our local woodcutters but at least it gives um, some stimulus to uh, uh, the one or two companies that um, are allowed to still cut down redwoods. You can see the different qualities of texture in the grain and um, I don't know if this has been burned out or um, if it's older or not. Um, never stand under, you know, this is tons and tons and tons of redwoods, you know. A lumberjack's job is extremely dangerous. These are all fresh redwoods. These are fresh cuttings right now and uh, that's fresh growth. Um, so I'm going to probably get a few cuttings. Um, I don't sell redwoods because of a long story I'll explain later. It has to do with the mycelium in the ground, in the, or I mean the dirt. Anyway, um, the hummus is uh, legal to ship dirt is. And um, you see all this white on the side. That's uh, endemic to Humboldt, California. And um, what they pay for, the value of redwood, is the quality of the green. You can see the red quality in there. And redwood nowadays, this is uh, typically more of an old growth. I'm not saying that this is old growth. These are skinny logs and all, but the quality of the grain is high dollar versus um, different qualities. They have uh, a lot of redwood that's cut down because most of it's gone is... Um, a wider grain like this and you can see these are a quarter inch apart rings and I could count this tree right now and tell you you know it's a hundred and whatever years old um, in theory each one of these by the way tree rings these are rings every one of these rings represents a year of its life and you can see how thick the bark is uh, right now we're just doing a quick one though and to explain you know the pros and cons of different wood companies like I said this is a local company that promotes local businesses and um, you wouldn't really know the difference you know one or another and I'm not saying that they're good or bad you know and um, just saying that there are different reasons redwoods get cut these are fresh cuttings right here and um, every single one of these I could uh, regrow out and um, they'll just get stripped down and all this bark will get stripped off and this will become a pole you can see the sap, the redwood blood is starting to starting to bleed out and um, buried logs under water and stuff that is called reclaimed wood is extremely valuable uh, because the grains get darker. I don't know what they did to darken these. It could just be some kind of, you know, the way where they're cut at, you know, burns the wood when they cut it. I, I don't know a lot about redwoods. I'm just giving you some basic descriptions and views of um, a few thousand redwoods that are gone out of the 1% of redwoods that we have left on the earth. Redwoods used to cover all the United States pretty much and now they're uh, pretty much endemic to only uh, a few basic neighborhoods in uh, Northern California. Most of our redwoods are gone. Most of our trees are tree farms and um, we uh, don't really have much left so I'm gonna... this used to be a uh, uh, a forage ground of mine and they just put a few million tons of redwoods on it so there'll be no no uh, gardens this year so I'm gonna climb on top of this here in a while and we're gonna do part two of this vid and um, I'll let you know but uh, you know the thing with redwoods another thing is is the uh, saplings 
you can buy these at ace you know they've been treated these are grown by monsanto if you buy anything from a commercial nursery you know it's probably uh, going to die on you and um, they have laws against um against the uh importation of dirt from california our dirt is what the trees redwoods need to live to stimulate the growth of the roots and the um, moisture that uh, used to be out here in the fog belt the fog belts moved now about 20 40 miles it's now in the siski use but it used to be over humboldt california and so these redwoods would grow because they needed that wetlands and that wetness but it's no longer around because we cut down all the trees so now it's extremely hot so finished product like I said these are uh, all planks that are um, sold and used usually locally this is a local company for local business and local people but uh, you know most of the other companies the worldwide companies that come in and they ship the stuff out you can see there's very little red in any of that wood and it's mostly white that's basically because all the growth is gone and so what you have left is just uh, regular wood and it takes you know a century a couple centuries a few centuries you know to get that really good dark color and so that's why they uh, cut down all the you know bigger trees first it wasn't necessarily because of their size it was because of the quality of the grain and the color of the wood so you can kind of maybe see a little bit of red tintish you know in the sunlight at some points but most of it is just uh white wood it's it's not it's not red in any sense and uh, it's just uh, a vanity thing you know we have a you could make 